Hi, this is Tim at Cycle Dope Bicycle Trailers. Today we're going to talk about fine adjustment of the brakes on our automatic braking system. Before you adjust the brakes, the wheel needs to be assembled onto the trailer and tightened. The axle nuts need to be in place and tightened. The washer needs to be between the axle nut and the dropout. The hook on the washer needs to wrap around the dropout. The pinch bolt needs to be in place. The cable should have a little bit of slack in it. If there's too much or too little slack, you can adjust the slack by loosening the nut on the pinch bolt with a 9mm or adjustable wrench. The brake adjuster needs to be in place and the brake clip needs to be in place and tightened onto the frame of the trailer. At this point, the barrel screw should be screwed all the way in, and this lock screw should be all screwed all the way in as well. At this point, what you do is you back off counterclockwise on the barrel screw until you see the brake lever start to move in towards the barrel screw. To check the braking power, you spin the wheel, actuate the brake, and the wheel should stop. You can also actuate the brake and see if the wheel can be spinned by turning it. And if you think there's not enough braking power, you can turn the barrel screw further counterclockwise. If you're out on the road and don't think that you have enough braking power, again, you can turn the barrel screw counterclockwise. Similarly, if you find that your brake is not completely releasing after it breaks, you might want to turn the barrel screw clockwise to get a little less braking power. Once you've got everything just where you want it, you turn the lock screw, lock nut counterclockwise all the way up against the anchor. 